Hi everyone, welcome to my video for Aintree Day 2. We hit the crossbar a little bit today with Lowella finishing second at a decent price. We had her each way and she was cantering most of the way but just beaten by a Malin's favourite sadly. But yeah, a well backed Malin's horse. But Gavin Cromwell's mare Lowella ran really well for us in there. Um, we picked up a good bit more in our stake there. Sadly, we lost our stake on Brazil. Um, Aintree's a little bit different for me to Cheltenham, where I'm obviously trying to make a profit, trying to find decent-priced winners, but it's not big stakes and it's not high-profile like Cheltenham for me. I have one horse tomorrow who I'm pretty keen on to have a reasonable bet each way at 20 to 1. I'm, now, it's over the national fences, so you can't be going crazy and you should be checking the horse out yourself. But I like Pink Eye Pedro at 20 to 1 for the top him. Last season, he was second to Live, Laugh, Laugh, beating about four and a half lengths, I believe. Uh, but he was well clear of the rest. He'll have been laid out for this, for one big shot at this race. This will be his Grand National as such. 20 to 1, five places. I think he's a good bet and I'll be having a bet on him. I like him. Um, there are a few you can fancy in here. McTotty's easily fanciable. So is Royal Rendezvous. I think I may put a very, very small forecast on Royal Rendezvous. Uh, McTotty and um, Pink Eyed Pedro. Just, you know, in a few combinations to see if we can get that forecast up. But my main bet tomorrow... And it's not a huge bet because you can't be betting big over the national fences. But my main bet tomorrow is Pink Eye Pedro at 20 to 1 each way. I, um, I quite fancy him. Of the other races, not a lot that I'll be backing. I would I would look at Tronador to repeat his win. But he's only 14 to 1. He drifted badly the last time he won this race out to 33s. You know, if you do see him drifting, you could maybe have a couple of quid at SP and he may drift right out for you. Um, I, I believe John Bonn will win the 220, but at even money, it's not really a horse you should be sort of lumping onto because we don't know about his exertions at Cheltenham. Really, you know, he chased a, a really suicidal pace that Dysart Dynamo set and he finished... A well beaten second by Constitution Hill, still ahead of Kilcrat and other good horses, but it remains to be seen how much has been taken out of him. But he does look the most likely winner of the 220. I don't like any of the other races as a betting medium, and I think really and truly, if I'm backing John Bond, it won't be high stakes. And my main bet tomorrow will be in the top him on Pink Eyed Pedro at 20 to 1 each way. I'm keeping these videos a lot briefer than normal because I don't think that people want to be watching long videos you know going through every runner in the race these shouldn't be high stakes race for you this is the Grand National Fences anything can fall in front of your horse anything can you know impede your horse so you have to keep stakes to a sensible level but I do fancy Pink Eyed Pedro I think he's got a reasonable chance tomorrow and I'll be backing him each way with five places at 20 to 1. So I hope you have a good day. I hope you've had a good day uh, on day one and I hope you continue your success on day two. So thanks for watching and I'll be back to you before the Grand National with my assessment of day three at entry. Bye for now.